Hey everyone, this is Jove with Jove's Gaming Lounge. And for today's video, we're gonna do something a little different. And this is something I see people having issues with. It's turning an Xbox game ISO and playing it with either XEMU or CXBX Reloaded. Now this ISO, unless you break it down into these files right here, will not play on these emulators. So how do we do this? a program known as XISO or Extract XISO. With this, we're going to turn this very large file here. This is uh, 7.28 gigs into an XISO to be played with XEMU, which will be a smaller size. 2.33 gigs and about the same size for this one, which will be a hard drive ready file or CXBX Reloaded. You want to search Extract XISO. You want to click on this link right here from GitHub, from Xbox Dev. Once here, you wanna to navigate to releases and you wanna click on that. And you wanna get yourself this one, which is the Win32 release. I'm gonna save it to the desktop. Once you're back in the desktop, uh, I went ahead and created an XISO folder. I'm just gonna drag this in here open up the folder and then I'm just going to go ahead and extract the files here. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag in Jet Set Radio Future in here. This is the ISO and one thing I'm going to do since this program uh actually we're going to run a command line through the PowerShell. We can't have spaces in the name. So I'm going to go ahead and change this right now. I'm just going to call it JSRF.ISO. No spaces. And if you click on it, nothing really happens. So what you need to do, we're going to hold shift and right click the empty space. We're going to open PowerShell here. Okay, so since we're now in PowerShell, there's a command we're gonna to run to extract the contents of the ISO. We're gonna run this command here. Extract X ISO with a flag of dash X. And it's gonna be this, JSRF.ISO. This is our Jet Set Radio ISO. We're gonna hit enter. All right, now that that's done, we're gonna take a look here. It extracted all the information over to a folder with the same name we have of the ISO. We're gonna double click that and we can see that there's a XBE file here. Now this alone will let you launch it inside CXBX Reloaded because this program normally asks for an XBE. So we're going to go ahead into desktop XISO and we can go ahead and just launch it. And typically if you end up downloading files from the internet, this will tell you, Hey, that XBE may be malicious. When you do it this way, it won't flag it as malicious. Start the game. And the game boots. So we're going to close that. And now we, we can basically just drag this out here, rename it, and then you can set, uh, put it wherever you put your ROMs for CXBX reloading. Now we're going to make a copy of this because I'm going to copy this and we're going to make a smaller file size for X ISO from the current ISO that we have here, which actually will not launch on X emu. I'll show you in a second. Here's XEMU. This is that seven gig file. We're going to double click it. We're going to hit reset. Nothing happens. We're going to open it again. Yet again, nothing happens. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this from here, from this folder that we have. And we're going to convert it into an X ISO so that X emu can read it. How do we do this? 
we're going to take the same we're going to take this command that we have here we're going to make a few changes instead of dash x we're going to do dash c for compress instead of extracting and instead of dot iso we're gonna have to do this and now before we do anything further if we do it this way this will actually overwrite the iso that we have here and we don't want that i'm going to rename this folder this file i'm going to rename this file with x iso at the end so now we're going to go here into our command line x iso all right this is the name of that folder that we have and i'm going to go ahead and hit enter successfully created let's take a look here we have this x iso that we just named and you could notice the significant drop in size what we're going to do is we're going to open up x emu again load disk we're going to go for the x iso we just made we're going to hit reset and the game launches So now we have our two files here. We can get rid of this one since we have the other one here. We'll drag this one out and then you could just go ahead and delete the larger file as you don't need it any longer. You can rename this and this, and this is how you can convert your dumped Xbox games or however you got them into an X ISO and a hard drive XBE or both emulators of Xbox. Hope you guys learned something with this. If you did, don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe for more helpful tips like this. I'll be making more videos of these kinds. And I want to thank everyone for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.